Hey guys, we are continuing solving problems from Hellade Resnick Walker, 8th edition. We are doing this time, we'll be doing problem number 16 from 8th edition, chapter 21 electric charge uh, problems on Coulomb's law. I'll read out the question in figure A, three positively charged particles. So, this is the case. In figure A, three positively charged particles are fixed on an x-axis. Particles B and C are so close to each other that uh, they can be considered to be at the same distance from particle A. The net force on particle A uh, due to particles B and C is 2.014 into 10 to the power minus 23 newtons in the negative direction of the x-axis. In figure B, uh, particle B has been moved to the opposite side of A but is still at the same distance from it. The net force on A is now 2.877 into 10 to the power minus 24 newtons in the negative direction of x axis. What is the ratio QC by QB? So we are given three particles A, B and C. All of them are positive. Okay, all of them are positive. In the first case, B and C are very close to each other. So they are almost at the same position. So distance, their distance from A is same. B and C are at the same distance from A. We'll call that distance uh, R. So A will experience two forces from B and C. Net force is given is 2.014 into 10 to the power minus 23. In the next case, you are taking particle B and shifting it to the other side of A. So B is here now. So again, at the same distance r. So we have this distance which continues to be r, which was the original distance. B on the other side is now again at the same distance r, but on the other side. Now net force on A is uh, uh, 2.877 into 10 to the power minus 24 in the negative direction of x axis. So we have net force in the negative direction of x axis in both cases. Okay, in both cases. We have find out ratio of QC and QB. QC divided by QB is what we had to find out. Okay. So uh, we'll first consider the first case, case A, and then we'll consider case B. And then uh, we'll have two equations, solve them, and find out the ratio QB by QC. Okay. So uh, in the first case, case A. A will have experienced two forces. B will uh, repel it. I'll call this FAB. C will also repel it. I'll call this FAC. Both forces are in negative direction. I'll take them this time along with their signs. Okay, I'll take them along with their signs. Uh, because later on, one of the forces will be in the positive direction. So we have to be careful here. Okay? So both forces are in negative direction. I'll take uh, minus signs with them. So net force on A in the first case, in case A is minus FAB minus FAC. FA and F, uh, FAB and FAC being the magnitudes, minus signs gives the, uh, gives the directions. Now FAB is, minus sign is there, gamma QA QB divided by R squared. Remember gamma we are using for electrostatic constant. Sometimes K is used, sometimes 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 is used. I'm using gamma. Minus FAC is gamma QAQC divided by R squared. So this implies FA is equal to minus gamma QA divided by R squared. I'm taking common. Uh, we're left with QB and QC. QB plus QC. So this is force on particle A in case A, okay, in the first case. Let's call this equation 1, okay, let's call this equation. Now this force FA we already know, it is equal to 2.014 into 10 to the power minus 23. We'll substitute it later on. Let's move to case B now. Now in case B, uh, again, all the three are positively charged, so B will repel it. So FAB will be now in the positive direction. So we'll take it with positive sign and C will repel it. So force will be in the negative direction F A C. So we'll take it with the negative sign. So net force this time, net force in case B, uh, case B, 
नेट फोर्स ऑन ए इन केस बी इज एफ ए बी माइनस एफ ए सी ओके माइन दैट वन इज इन द नेगेटिव डायरेक्शन सो माइनस साइन बी डिवाइडेड बाय आर स्क्वेड माइनस गामा क्यू ए क्यू सी डिवाइडेड बाय आर स्क्वेड रिमेंबर डिस्टेंस इज सेम एज वाज द केस इन फर्स्ट एज वाज द केस इन द ए केस ए सो ए हियर आर हियर एज वेल एज हियर so this implies f b is equal to i'll take minus gamma q a divided by r squared common as was the uh, as was in the first case so we are left with q b minus no we are left with minus q b plus q c okay minus q b plus q c or i can write it this way f b is equal to minus gamma q a divided by r squared q c minus q b call the equation to okay call the equation to so now we have forces in both cases so we'll find out the ratio remember in case a we have force uh, minus gamma q a divided by r squared q b plus q c and in uh, second one we have minus gamma q a divided by r squared q c minus q b so let's divide the two one divided by two implies f a divided by f b is equal to now first one if i remember correctly is minus gamma q a divided by r squared q b plus q c then the second one is minus gamma q a divided by r squared q c minus q b okay let's check it out let's cross check it minus gamma q a divided by r squared q b plus q c and minus gamma q a divided by r squared q c minus q b okay q c so all fine this cancels out so this implies now f a we know f a is equal to 2.014 into 10 to the power minus 23 2.014 2.014 to the power minus 23 divided by f b f b we find we know is equal 2.877 2.877 into 10 to the power minus 24 2.877 into 10 to the power minus 24 is equal to we have q b plus q c here divided by q c minus q b now i'll prefer the same order in both cases so i'll write q c plus q b here okay it doesn't matter So in instead of Q B plus Q C, I'll write uh, Q C plus Q B. Doesn't make any difference. So now this thing is I have worked it out. Uh, zero point seven. This thing divided by this thing is zero point seven. Then ten to the power minus twenty four will go upstairs. It will become ten to the power plus twenty four. So solving it will become ten is equal to. Now on this side, I'll divide the numerator and denominator by Q B. I'll divide the numerator by Q B. I'll divide the denominator by Q B. So numerator will get Q C divided by Q B plus one. Q B by Q B is one. Then divided by Q C by Q B minus Q B by Q B is one. So this implies seven point seven into ten is seven. This I'll take upstairs there. So Q C divided by Q B minus one. Is equal to Q C divided by Q B plus one. So this implies this is seven times Q C divided by Q B minus seven into one is seven is equal to Q C divided by Q B plus one. So this implies. Now Q C by Q B will take to that side. It will become negative. So seven minus one is six. Q C by Q B is equal to minus seven. Will shift to this side. So that will become plus seven plus one is eight. So we are almost there. This implies Q C by Q B is equal to eight divided by six. Okay, eight divided by six. Now that is two into three, two into four, 
So this implies QC divided by QB is equal to 4 divided by 3. So this is our ratio. Remember both of them are positive, so ratio is also positive. So 4 divided by 3. 4 divided by 3. Fine.